This is the checking layout. The purpose of the checking layout is to perform the quality checks for the model or several models based on selected rule sets. Checking layout consists of the checking view, where results of the rule checks are shown in the results view. The results summary view provides an overview or snapshot of the total number of issues and their levels of severity. We also have the info view at the bottom and the 3D view on the right hand side. When first opening the checking layout, you'll be prompted to choose a role in the rule sets you would like to check if you have not already made this decision. You can also select or create a role from the file layout. To start, we'll check the rules that we have selected. These particular rules are for general validation of the architectural design. As you can see, we start to reflect some results here after hitting the check button. We now have results in critical, moderate, and low severity levels. We can select a specific rule or a rule set in the checking window. Now in the results summary, we see the total number of critical, moderate, or low severity issues the check has found for that selected rule or rule set. We can now also generate a summary of this information as an Excel report. Now let's take a look at the space checking rule set, and specifically the space validation rule. The results of the rules we just ran can be seen here. Let's click one of these, this boundary issue for example. In the 3D window on the right, you can see that the 3D view is temporarily hiding everything except those elements that are related to this issue. This allows you to see the issues more clearly. Part of the 3D space object is missing as the space is not aligned with the surrounding wall. This area is automatically redlined and when you compare this with the footprints of the walls, you can clearly see where the problem is. The normal procedure is to comment on this issue. We can select the default comment or description of the issue that is generated from the rule and then we can continue adding some additional information. We can also switch to the coordination tab to assign responsibility for this issue as well as set its current status. Notice that by default the issues are all rejected. Let's take a look at another example, interference checking. Here we have some overlapping walls. When you double click the issue, the problematic components are automatically centered and zoomed to in the 3D view. Again, as previously, just the relevant information is shown. In this case, you can read from the info view that there are duplicate components. There's one wall component inside the other wall. You need to have an overall view of the level of severity of overlapping components. You can take a look at the related report. For example, for the intersection checking rules, we have a ruled report icon indicating there is a report available. By double clicking on the icon, you can see all the wall types that are used in the model, the total component volume for each, intersection volumes, and how much this is by percentage of the whole volume. This will give an indication, for example, of how much your quantity takeoff may be off at the moment. You can also export this directly to a spreadsheet. Now let's take a look at how the severity classifications work. If you want to focus only on high severity problems, you may hide the normal and low severity issues. Now we are only seeing the critical intersections. Here you can only see the critical and rejected results like the wall intersection that we just marked as rejected. The checking layout is the most important layout in Celebri Model Checker since this is where the quality of the model is checked by rules. In this case we have checked uh, two rule sets but you may also add additional rule sets from here as well.